Hey, what's up? It's Crick here with Black Outdoors. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the jacket I'm wearing, which is the Cold Smoke Wax Deck Jacket. This jacket was sent to us by Cold Smoke and I had actually a chance to wear it last winter some and I've been wearing a lot this winter. And it's made in the USA and the price reflects that and this jacket costs $395. And I'm gonna talk more about that at the end. So stay tuned, I'm sure a lot of you have your own thoughts and opinions about price, things made in the USA. But this is the waxed deck jacket because it's made from wax canvas. And this wax canvas is a company that's in the US and actually some of my goods Going to be using this company's wax canvas as well but now let's get into the features and there's not much but let's just go around the jacket and show you show you the goods all right let's take a look at the buttons first and these sort of have a antique sort of wear pattern on them that's how it came i could take that or leave that whatever and the fact that it's a button it's really easy to change out if i want to put my own buttons on on this jacket and that's just the benefit of having uh having some skills but you can see I don't have the, uh, the zipper zipper because I have a lav mic on. But it's just a single zipper on the zipper track. Only one. On the left side, left front of this jacket, there's one breast pocket, which in my hand pretty much fits the whole way in. Not lying, just wax canvas all in there. And I really like pockets like this on jackets. Taking a look at the hand pockets now. And there's no lining in there again, just wax canvas, but this is a uh, deer. Yeah, this is deer leather, which is a nice little touch because especially when it's cold, no gloves on, put my hands in and out of this pocket. If this was rough canvas, rough canvas, it might be uncomfortable, but just again, a nice little touch and it's real leather. So none of that faux stuff. All right, let's take a look at the wrist portions of the jacket sleeves. So you can see there's two buttons here that if you need to pull this tighter, if there's any drafts going up your arm, you can do that. But you really don't get any drafts on this because of this little, uh, little wrist collar, I guess we could call it. Little cuff, which is nice on jackets. I really like it, you know. There's pros and cons with not having one here and having a bigger arm opening or hand opening. But on the jackets that have this and I'm not wearing gloves for the day, it's definitely a welcome feature for sure. Another feature I like about this jacket is the collar. And you can see right now I have it, the collar flipped up and this tab button. There's a little bit of an opening here, which I guess, depending on the leg you're wearing underneath it, could allow a draft to come in, but it's a lot better than not being able to pull the collar and keep it up stiff around your neck. And all it is is the button here, and it's comfortable because it's corduroy lined. So I got the jacket off, so we can take a look at the inside now because this is a lined jacket. And this is lined with Japanese fleece. And this jacket does really well for blocking wind as well. And it's a really warm jacket considering. I originally had a medium and you can see this is a large because for layering in the winter and basically just staying warm in the winter, if your jackets or layers are too tight, it can make you colder than I guess you should be with the warm layers on. So. I sized up and honestly I could probably even do an extra large if I really wanted to layer with this, but it's something to keep in mind. And taking a look at the sleeve now, the sleeve is not lined with the fleece. It has this taffeta um, lining just because depending on the layer you're wearing, putting on a jacket that's completely lined, especially at the sleeves, can make it really a pain to get on and off. So you got that slick material to help your arms slide right through, slide on in. And on the side of the jacket too, there are internal pockets. The smaller pocket right here. Media pocket, I think that's what they're calling, or maybe the other one is, I don't know. I don't know what the heck a media pocket is supposed to look like. But either way, there's another one below that, a much larger internal pocket. Same button on the outside, tab if you need it. Get these gloves on. These old flanges are getting cold. Get some warm gel. I don't really like the sipping action of this Stanley, so I always end up unscrewing it to get a sip of coffee. 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about price made in the USA goods. Now, I'm gonna say I really don't care if something's made in the USA in the sense that as long as a human is getting compensated accurately for their time working for an employer, I'm cool with that, whether it's made in China, you know, Bangladesh, Taiwan. If the employer is paying the employees a fair, decent, and accurate compensation for their work and life, I'm cool with that. But I also support made in the USA as well because this is where I'm from. This is where I was born in this country. I like seeing my neighbors and my communities having jobs, well-paying jobs, and people just being compensated accurately for their time and efforts and labor. So understand why a jacket like this is gonna cost $400. You look at Filson, a lot, you know, not a lot of their stuff, but they have plenty of stuff that's not made in the USA anymore. But go look at the stuff that is made in the USA and it's expensive. Now, you might not spend $400 on a jacket like this and use it like I have because this jacket was sent to me and sent to us and I wasn't shy about using it and testing it. It's not just a fashion piece because it's wax canvas, you know, it's, it's got the construction to make it a sort of a utility piece. Using this in my shop in the winter, you know, carrying some wood, like just wearing it as a shop jacket, having it completely covered in sawdust leather, carrying my tools around with it, it's held up and the wax canvas will take like dust and it'll sort of, you know, cause wax is kind of wet and it won't just brush off as easy, but you can see there's really nothing nothing on it now. So if something's more expensive, that's not gonna stop me from trying or, or using it as it's intended. And a quick caveat, and I know I'm getting a little winded at the end of this video, so if you're still watching, thanks. Cold Smoke has really great marketing in my opinion. Their photography is great, their products, and what I've seen from this, their quality is great. And looking on the outside as a consumer, you might look and, be, and think, well, that's, that looks too good to sell a quality, rugged product. And I'm gonna sort of make that parallel as well with the company Best Made. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but you should look them up as well. That their, their marketing, their, their photos, everything is done so well with that company that you, you sort of naturally kind of think like, well, maybe the, the probably products aren't that good because I feel like they're, it looks too good. Maybe it's just all fashion pieces. And I can tell you from experience, Best Made's not like this. And what I've seen from Cold Smoke, it's not like that at all. So that's really all I have to say about the jacket, about the company, about Made in the USA goods. And I could talk for hours, we could talk, have discussion for hours about manufacturing in the global market right now. But I'm curious to hear what you have to say about everything I've touched on. If you have any experience with this uh, company, Cold Smoke, or any other Made in the USA companies that you think uh, some of our other subscribers might enjoy, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for your support, your continued support. To the next video, this is Crick and Stoney's behind the camera. Peace out, turtles.